Greetings. We are taking a short break from the usual math Olympiad problems to explore problems from the primary school context. Today we will be looking at just one famous problem entitled Cows and Chickens. The problem goes like this. A farmer has 100 animals on his farm. The animals consist of cows and chickens. Given that there are 286 legs altogether among the animals, how many cows are there? There are seven ways to tackle this problem. The classic primary school method is to guess and check. You begin by constructing a table listing the number of cows and chickens, such that they add up to 100. And for each permutation, you list down the number of legs looking for the magic number of 286. Depending on how lucky you are, you could end up trying from 1 to 101 attempts. Alternatively, you could spot a pattern. As you construct the table, you notice that as you increase the number of cows by 1, the chickens go down by 1 and the number of legs go up by 2. Given that you need 86 more legs than the zero cow scenario, you could reason that you need 43 cows in total. Students familiar with algebra have a few more methods. One could let x be the number of cows and y be the number of chickens. You then form two equations, take the first equation and make y the subject, call that equation 3, substitute that into equation 2, and proceed to solve. Or, some might choose to multiply equation 1 by 2. Then you use the elimination method by subtracting the new equation 3 from equation 2. Those with way too much free time on their hand could consider method 5 and choose a graphical solution. They plot both lines on a graph paper find its intersection point, and estimate the number of cows. Or even method 6. Express the equations in its matrix form. Find its inverse matrix and impress your teacher with this ridiculously convoluted solution. And that brings me to method 7. When I see this cow and chicken problem, my favourite solution is to just use a shotgun. I aim it at the cows and the chickens, and I ask them to stick them up. Now both the cow and the chicken will have two legs on the ground each. The cows will raise two of their legs up in the air, but the chickens can only raise their wings. Altogether, the 100 animals have 200 legs on the ground. That must mean that the 86 legs left over must belong to the cows. Divide that by 2 and we find that we have 43 cows. Hopefully this problem has demonstrated a variety of reasoning techniques that you can employ to solve a question like this cow and chicken problem. At a deeper level, this simple problem also shows the connectedness between number patterns, algebra, graphs and matrix. To that end, I hope that you found this video useful and you can apply the shotgun technique the next time somebody asks you a cows and chicken problem. Thank you and have a good day of learning.